Hey, yo, this is Tall Man Phantasm from that legendary Fella Dwellers crew, and you're now tuned in to Breaking Records Radio. Salute. We're now tuned in to Breaking Records Radio. My name is Alex Kuchma, and I have here with me yet another legend from the 90s New York hip-hop scene. As part of the Cellar Dwellers with his rhyme partner, UG, they drop classic albums like Realms and Reality and The Last Shall Be First. Please welcome to the show, Phantasm. What's good, my man? Yes, sir. Phantasm, tour man, repping that almighty Cellar Dwellers crew. Y'all know what it is. Oh, man, I said this at the beginning of the call here, but I can't thank you enough for taking the time out of your day in order to speak to me. I appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. No doubt, no doubt, man. We appreciate all love shown to the group, you know what I mean? 100%. Yeah, you guys dropped some of my favorite shit. Like, the, the sound that you guys came with in the 90s, I think, is is slept on, but I feel like kind of heads of, of underground hip-hop in general um, really kind of admire the, the output that you guys ended up having in the 90s, and even kind of the extended family, if you talk about artists like Rand Reed, and, and just kind of that extended family of Cellar Dwellers, um, I think is, is just highly underrated hip-hop for the 90s. So I'm really excited to be able to kind of talk nitty-gritty details and, uh, and learn something. So yeah, thank no you. Doubt, no doubt. We we never we never no garnered doubt. that commercial success, but sure. through the underground and through you know the backpack era and all of that, we you know we stood the test of time in that in that nature. A hundred percent. So I want to start from the very beginning. Um, how did you end up meeting meeting UG? I met UG from a friend of mine. His name is Gage. We actually did a record called Cranium together, the Cranium remix. Okay, but. Gage was rhyming at the time, and UG was his actual dance. He used to dance for him as a dancer. Oh, wow. So Gage knew that I was, and he had a show one day, and in the limousine going to the show, he introduced me to his dancers, and UG was one of his dancers. And then we had a, a instrumental beat demo, so we asked the limo driver, yo, throw this in, and everybody went in the cypher, and everybody was rhyming. And as UG was rhyming, I was like, yo, you got skills. I don't know if you should be dancing. You should kind of be on stage. He was like, yeah, I'll write my little rap to the side, but I don't know yet. I was like, nah, you, you got the gift. So from there, we exchanged numbers, and, and then we just formed a connection from there. Were you just writing at that period of time, or were you also dancing or doing graph or any other kind of elements uh, incorporated no, I, in hip-hop? I was, I, was, I, was I, was working, I was working on an album as well. I was working on an album, but then okay. once we got together, I said, I'm going to help him with what he was doing. And then things just kind of formed up from there. What happened to those early recording sessions for your album? Did they end up making it onto the, the first Cellar Dwellers project or are they shelved somewhere? They're, they're shelved somewhere. <laughs> and it's, it's some good stuff too. But I want to hear that. Deleted by now, but this was <laughs> talking years and years ago. But yeah, um, yeah I, I, don't even, I don't even have access to any of that stuff. Were you going by Phantasm at that period of time when you were making your, your first no, solo? at that time I was going to Star Child. Star Child, okay. And the, the project that you're working on, um, who's, who's financing that? Is it all yourself or are you kind of partnered with Loud at that period of time or does that all come afterwards? How does, how, what's the kind of logistics behind that first project that you're working on? Oh, that was all just demo stages at that time. It was all just demo, it had a dope producer by the Four name of- Four track um, demos? Uh, no, we was doing we was doing sixteen track demos back then because there was a dope producer in Flatbush at the time. His name was Backspin. He ended up doing work for Leaders of the New School. He did um, Rampage's Wild for the Night. So he got he got a couple okay. of credits. But early on, before he started catching those credits, we were working out some stuff, and we were gonna sign with Wild Pitch, but the offer wasn't big enough. And then you know the connection came with me and UG, and then we started doing that stuff. So. We are going to examine a specimen as of yet. Roger that, now I'm on demand. Felt to crumble cats in my hand, castles in the sand. They're looking at me like they need some guidance. My speech is vibrant. Brace the keys to reach the zenith like a season. <laughs> Like mom's column for dinner I'ma eat, throw my feet up and just bark Hey yo, me. beat the funky flow is here Smoke them if you got them I got 99 bitches, only one real problem Don't fall night sweat I'm a life every day's a titan fight to the death But they ain't shit like the day just wet You see the twins on stage Or I'm nice with the set You wanna join the rap and roll rush Picked up sipping on cold dust Not us, we from a whole different mode I'm with 
star, the bite in the poster. Come on, you wanna join the rap go rush? End up stepping on cold dust. Calm down, my selector.